Peyton Mills really the highlight man in that lineup. We'll see him third in the inning. Flashed up the middle, Troy Bonsgaard in the leadoff spot. Will lead off this game with a base hit. In 29 games in his junior campaign. That's a good rip into right field. Back-to-back -back singles to kick off the afternoon for the Golden Eagles. Southeast Missouri, they're on the road. Mills into left field, that drops in. Three straight singles for Tennessee Tech here in the opening frame, and the bases are loaded. Nine home runs, really good numbers. 2-2, two -two, up in the zone, Dyer cuts right. And that is ball four. Tennessee Tech is going to strike first as they walk in. 0-2, oh, got him swinging. Another punch out for Russell as he's trying of what you want to find out as a team is how you handle situations as Theo Bryant launches one towards the left center gap. Dryling is there and Russell off speed off the end of the bat. Slow roller to Taylor collects himself and makes a good throw to first down middle era. Burt gets underneath one high fly ball right field side is going to stay in the ballpark. Theo Bryant's there. Down the lineup. Nicky into center. Jordan underneath it. It's a 1 2 3 inning for this Tennessee team. It still feels like that's the case. But you didn't expect there to be too many shifts with that weekend rotation considering you returned all three of your major guys from last year. That's what's on the docket for Tennessee. 3 2 pitch runs outside. That is. Payoff pitch, that is ball four. You mentioned it, Cody. Tennessee Tech, one of the better teams in their... Ford, good rip left center. Tracking back is Inslee, he won't get there. One hops off the wall. Two runs already in for Tennessee Tech. Two RBI double. Fastball between 88 and 92 with a lot of run. He's gonna play in a curveball and a slider and a changeup as well. Theo Bryant drops it into center. That brings home another. Will Long's good hitter. He played four years at Kentucky between 91 and 94. He hit 408 in SEC play. He gets guys that can hit when they make their run into postseason play as they have some upper regional. His last season of his first stint with Tennessee Tech is that's a strikeout pitch. He's implemented some stuff that he that he figured out at a couple of those other stops, and that's going to pay dividends for these. After your Cortland Lawsons, your Jarrell Ortegas, I mean Tennessee's really good. If this offense starts to starts to figure it out and, and they can start scoring and putting some pressure on other teams and taking the the pressure off their pitching staff, they could go on a run. Like this team is still dangerous. It's it's five type of sense. Hit well, that's deep left field. He got a ton of it, and it's way out. Three-run bomb for Hunter Inslee. One-two, Burt goes diving for one outside. A bit of a three-quarter approach. Dickey on the ground. Pushing forward is Garza, and that's back-to-back -back gets for Brock Smith. Not get a hit. That's a good rip left field. He has a hit today. Drops it in for a two-out single. Rip opposite way. Fly ball on the left. Wind pushing it a bit towards the line. There's Preston Ford. We got it on tape. Exactly. He's going to go home and watch the recording later on and just be amazed. The roller for Griffin Merritt, who did not start this game, but kicks up down the line at you. Kendro, line drive, left field, back at the track is Preston Ford, and he's got it. Scott, right field, base hit. Second time today, Christian Scott's been aboard. That's ball four. They will get back to the top of the lineup. Two. Inslee cracked into left. Base hit. Hard round from third is Scott. He's going to score RBI number four for Hunter Inslee. Volunteers. 
2-2. Swung on, deep center. Bryant on the chase, he makes the grab. Volunteers, Vanderbilt Commodores coming into town. Troy Bonsgaard up the middle. There is Kendro. A routine out number one to start. There was a lot of built up aggression, you know, and I think people <laughs> kind of forget that. Tennessee baseball has not been good in a while. They took a lot of beatings for a while. Gilliland caught going from first to second. And Joyce oh. hits him. O2. Ripped to left field. Dyer gets a hold of it and it leaves the yard. Two run shot. Golden Eagles up by three. Three, two. On the ground, that's gonna get into left field. Another two out base hit for Tennessee Tech. Back to back as Will Long is aboard. What a fun situation to be in. Fitzgibbons is able to get out of the inning. Strikeout to Cl Merritt cracks one into left. Lead off base hit. Just what the Volunteers needed. Looks different. Kendra will go down swinging. Fastball from Brock Smith. And that's strike three. Back to back gets for Brock Smith. That's ball four. Cal Stark battles back in the count. Inslee, right field, right there. Theo Bryant has it. Staff, he's got a couple young bats that's kind of spark some life into them. I mean, they're a really hot team at the moment. Blake Burke is there for the pop fly out. Feet. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it comes down to, you know, hiring the right thing, and it just didn't click. And they've got a guy in place now that's kind of got it moving in the right direction and kind of seeing that same thing with Tennessee. All right, man. And one, two, three inning for Seth Halverson. A 3 0 count to Dylan Dryling. And the freshman. Earn ball four. Oh. in his glove. Like, does he get there and does he change and is there a lot less movement when he throws it or not? Just a little thing. Off speed, rolled over, first base way, picked up from Dyer. Only plays to step on first. That's out number two. Scott down the line. That's a fair ball. It's going to skip past Dyer. Rounding third and scoring is Dryling. Volunteers back within two. 3 2 pitch. Sorella gets pain and he's fired up. He's still within striking distance. I mean, you would love to. There you go, right on cue, right? You like to put a little bit of pressure on him and see if you can squeak. Theo Bryant. First pitch he sees, flutters one into center. That drops in back-to-back -back singles for Tennessee Tech to kick off the ninth. Ash, but your standard bunt is what we get. Laid it down over to first, and it's bobbled and dropped from Booker over at first, who is covering everyone safe. There's the one-two. That's a great start. Strike three, and that puts the double play ball into factor. Back in the seventh. Bonsgaard up the middle. That drops in. Base hit. Scoring from third is Green. Add on an extra for the Golden Eagles. Two one. Gilliland ripped well. That's deep center. Tracking back is Inslee at the wall. It drops in. It's a base hit. Two have scored. Hard round from third. Throw home. Is not in time. Obstruction from Dickey. Bases clearing. Double. Hayden Gilliland. Runs in a season with 26. That was the OVC conference record until it was broken in 27. Until that 2018 team break through. And that's, that's the group that kind of took away a lot of the records from AJ and his buddies. How about another one for Tennessee Tech? John Dyer, he's not done with his big night. 
Hit a home run back in the sixth. Another 3 2. That's ball four. The inning keeps going. Yet it's not been the result they've been looking for. Green sends a slow roller on the ground. Tough play for Payne. It's not in time. Bases loaded. Fanning able to get out of the inning, but a statement for the Golden Eagles. Pitched 53 strikeouts. And that is the reason why. Absolute really good question to ask right now, Andy. Um, we, we need some answers on a couple of things. Obviously, we didn't see Malia Hoon at shortstop today. We didn't see Christian. We didn't see Christian. 2-2 two, two to Jared Dickey. Got him. Hunter Mann, weekend starter. There it is for a second straight year. The Golden Eagles own the state of Tennessee. That is the ball game. Yeah, I mean, from start four. to finish, Tennessee Tech did a